this question we're asked to use simple interest to work out the amount of interest uh, that's awarded on bank accounts. The way that it works when interest is awarded on a daily balance is it's like um, they work out how much interest you get for each balance until it changes. So the exact number of days that it's in there, uh, is in there for becomes really quite important. Now, Cynthia Oates' account had an opening balance of $420.50 at the start of October. That would mean that at the end of July the same amount was in there. So you could take the, big pardon, the end of September, you could take the um, opening period as being from September the 30th up until whenever her balance changed. Now, it was that amount, $420.50, at the start of the period, and it didn't change until October the 16th. Uh, and that would make, uh, you could use a table of dates if you're unsure about this, but that would make uh, 16 days when her balance was this amount. we can work out how much interest she gets on this amount for 16 days. Use IACUS PRT. The amount invested was $420.50. The interest rate was 5.2 percent. I'm going to write that as a decimal, so it'll be 0.05 Two. and the time of the investment was 16 days out of 365 in a year. You can work that out using your calculator, you can check me out if you like on this. I get 96 cents interest for those 16 days. Then for the rest of October, that means from October the 16th, right until the end of the month, there's 31 days in October, uh, 31 minus 16 is 15 days. The amount had changed because she put in another $300 here on the 16th. So 300 added on to that 420 that's already in there will give you $720.50. And that was in there for those last 15 days until the end of October, or 15 days with a balance of $720.50. You can use I equals PRT again to work out how much interest you should get on this $720.50 for 15 days. times the interest rate, times 15 days of interest, and using the calculator, it works out to be $1.54. A question asked you uh, uh, how much interest would be added at the end of the month. At the end of the month, all the interests for the various different periods get added together and we'll come up with a total interest of $2.50. Add them all together. Now, in the next example, we're presented with a bank statement. Let's have a look at it. I'll just bring the page up. It's a very similar sort of question. It's just a presentation difference here, what we have to do is work out for how long the account had the different balances in there and then use I equals PRT to work out the total amount of interest. So um, at the end of the March, 
the balance was $2,520.18. That didn't change until April the 5th. So that will mean there are five days when the balance was this much. We can use I equals PRT to work out the interest for that little period of time. So five days with a balance I equals PRT Interest rate in this example is 4.2%. I'll write that as 0 0.042 as a decimal. Five out of 365 days. Works out for that period of time $1.45 interest if you do the calculations. Then from the 5th of April to the 18th of April, well that'll be 13 days in there, 18 minus 5 equals 13. The balance was this much. Um, see, he, he withdrew $150. That's taken off uh, the original amount to give us this. And that didn't change for the next uh, 13 days. We can use I equals PRT to work out how much interest he should get for those 13 days. I've done the calculations in advance. $3.55. And then finally, uh, from April the 18th to April the 30th, Use your table of dates if you have to, or your calculator, but 30 minus 18, of course, is 12 days. Twelve days with a balance of this much. August PRT again. We're going to work out the amount of interest with a balance of $2,721.08, interest rate 0 0.042 for 12 days. Turns out $3.76 interest if you do the calculations. Now the question asks us to work out the total interest for the month. And uh, so what we have to do is simply add these three amounts together. Total interest. $1.45 plus $3.55 plus $3.76. And we'll get $8.76 interest. last question on this over the page asks you to go for one more step and it asks you to actually prepare the bank statement okay looking a bit better okay now it says he starts the uh, month with this balance that's brought forward from July on August the 14th there was a transaction he deposited some money the deposit was $580 now if that was his former balance he puts in $580 he'll have $2,933.80. Then on August the 17th, there was a withdrawal. Uh, 
of 195, that goes in the debit column, take away. Take away 195 away from what's in there and you'll have $2,738.80. Now what we have to do is we have to now work out how much interest he gets added at the end of July, at the end of August. August the 31st it'll be, there'll be some interest added and what we have to do is do all the steps of the last question again to kind of work it out. So let's see if we can go through as quick as we can. July the 31st to August the, the 14th is going to be 14 days. With this much balance, it was this much all the way through, it didn't change until August the 14th, so that's 14 days with a balance of $2,353.80. You can do the calculations for I equals PRT there. I'm going to just uh, leave a little bit of space and come back and do it in just a moment. Then from August the 14th to August the 17th, well, 17 minus 14 is three days. And during that period of time, the balance was as it was for August the 14th. I equals PRT again. some calculations in a moment and then from August the 17th to August the 31st 31 minus 17 is 14 days two seven three eight point eighty Okay, what I'd like you to do now is to pause the tape. I'm going to pause the tape too. Let's do some calculations and see if we can come up with the amount of interest which should be added at the end of the month. Okay, how did you go? I got interest amounts of $4.29, $1.15 and $4.99, making a total of $10.43. You can enter that up here uh, as the last transaction for the month. Interest was added. It goes in the credit column, $10.43. You can add that to the balance already there to find his balance at the end of the month, $2,749.23.